<clears throat> Hello, welcome to Dark Dragon Does Math. We are doing 5.2 guided notes today. Um, so, and this is all about graphing proportional relationships. Um, so, last time we learned what a proportional relationship was, what the table looks like, what the equation looks like. Now we're just looking at what the graph looks like. Um, and so, there's really two rules. Um, one, it is a straight line, and two, it goes through the origin. As long as both those two rules are met, it is a proportional relationship. So this is tell whether the graph represents a direct proportion. Yes, because it goes through 0, 0, and it's a straight line. This one would be no, because it does not go through 0, 0. Um, if it looked like this, the answer would be no. It went through 0, 0, but it was not a straight line, and that's pretty much how you tell. So this one is not proportional. This one right here is proportional, and if so, find the constant of proportionality. So the way we do that is we look at the a point that it, it goes through, not 0, 0. They all go through 0, 0. And we look at that point. This point is 1, 10. So that point means basically just like it was when we were doing the tables, we say whatever the second one is divided by the first one. 10 divided by 1 is 10, so k is equal to 10. Um, and if we were going to write an equation, we would say y is equal to 10x. And it's that simple. Um, so do these three on your own. All right, so this one's a little bit more complicated. We got a few questions. We got this equation, this table right here, and so um, we are going to do some stuff. <laughs> so Sean is a mechanic. Uh, the number of cars he serviced is directly proportional to the number of hours he works. The graph shows the number of cars in serviced in T hours. So this is car serviced by Sean. This is in, this is T. So time is on the bottom and the number of cars serviced is going up and down, which makes sense. That's the way it's always going to be. Whatever is dependent on the other. Um, so this is independent this is dependent and in some of my classes I've talked about independent time is independent he the amount of time he works changes uh, will determine how many cars he finishes and not the other way around so we want to find the constant of proportionality and what is the number of cars Sean serviced per hour those are going to be the same thing this is uh, the number of cars he serviced per hour is like a unit rate um, and Again, we find that we find a point that it goes through, so 3, 2 will work, or excuse me, 2, 3 will work right here. And we're going to say, all right, so let's zoom in just a little bit. Um, so that point, 2, 3, that means in two hours he serviced three vehicles. So for A, let's do, so whatever the second one is divided by the first, 3 divided by 2. That is that his his constant of proportionality. If you want to get, you could say k is equal to three halves or 1.5. They mean the exact same thing. Um, and so if we wanted to, this means that Sean services 1.5 cars per hour. So that's the answer to A. B. Explain what the point two three represents. Okay, we kind of just talked about that. 2, 3 means that in two hours, he services three cars. So Sean services three cars in two hours. Um, C. Oh, wait, that was, dang it, that's B. We'll do, <laughs> this is C. Oops. Um, write the direct proportion equation. So, sorry, this the direct proportion equation should have been n is equal to 1.5 t. Now, the reason it's n is going back to the graph. Maybe it wasn't good to zoom in. The reason that it's n is because that's what it's labeled as. If it was labeled as something else, I'd put something else there. But it's n is equal to 1.5 t. Basically, this number times 1.5 is going to be that number, which makes sense. That point is actually 
it's not written here, but think about it. This is 0 to 3. It's divided in two parts, 1.5. So, yeah, it's 1.5. Uh, he can service two cars in three hours. If Sean works six hours, how many cars can he service? So I'm going to use the equation. I'm going to say, so D, if he, ser if he works six hours, N is equal to 1.5 times 6. How many can he service? 1.5 times 6. Well, 1 times 6 is 6. Half of 6 is 3, so that's equal to 9. He can service 9 cars in 6 hours. Um, we could also do that by 6. 6 hours, he services 9 cars. Uh, e, Sean wants to service 6 cars. Well, 6 cars. Go over, go down takes four hours to do. Um, we can also prove that by saying, okay, he's working six, plus 1.5 t, divide by 1.5, divide by 1.5. Six over 1.5 is like 60 over 15, which is equal to four. So it would take him four hours to service six cars. Um, I know there's a lot, and I zoomed in and out, and that might have been disorientating. But um, hope that makes sense. You can do this one now. Um, and let me go ahead and just tell you the answers. That way you are not confused. I should have done that on the problem before. So the answers are 50. Y is equal to 50 T. Um, this is 350 miles in 7 hours. 150 miles and then this one is eight hours now again the reason that I'm telling you the answers in the first place is because that's not what's important it's important is how do I get those answers so that'll help you check yourselves while you're doing it um, but anyways I'm out math